dog. It's very good. Good dog. Sit, stay. It's a good dog. Good dog. Murphy, sit. 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 Good dog. There's a good dog. Good dog. And what Murph is doing here, because we keep seeing this roll over, this is probably what we call a learned helplessness behavior. Because this is very difficult for him and he can't understand what's going on, is he keeps rolling over and collapsing. And then if we get mad at him, he lifts his leg. And this is basically his way out. That's a, it's a, a, a doggy appeasement gesture, if you like. It's the dog's way of saying, oh, please don't hurt me. I don't know what I'm doing. They roll over on their back and then they lift their leg up like that. So that's a time when you've got to slow down on training. We don't run in at that point and grab hold of his cheeks and go, sit, because he'll just go, Bleh, and drop like a sack of potatoes again. Okay, we've got to get him up, sit, 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 and jolly him up, lure him up. Otherwise, he'll just lose all his confidence and whatever you do, he collapses on his back and that's the end of it. So that's when you have to slow down a bit and work a little more gently with the dog. Good dog, sit, stay. Good dog. Oh, good dog, Murphy. Sit, stay. Murphy, down. Good dog, Murphy, sit. Good dog. Oh, yes. There's a good dog. Do it once more, then you can have a go, Nicholas. It's good dog. Sit, stay. Good dog, sit, stay. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, Murphy. Murphy, down, stay. Murphy, sit. Murphy, sit. Murphy, sit. Sit. Get Murphy, sit. Good dog. It's okay. He's a good dog.